Let us now look at a series circuit. At the moment, this is the 22 ohm resistor that we've been using so far. Um, and if I turn on the power supply, a current will flow through it. We can measure that. And if you recall, we take the wire from the positive into the ammeter, and then the wire from the ammeter out to the circuit. So this is where we were in the previous video. What I'm going to do now is increase the amount of resistance in the circuit. If I just turn that off for a moment, if I disconnect this, I'm going to bring in another resistor. This one is 18 ohms, and I'm going to connect one after the other in a chain, basically, and we call that in series. So we now have from the power supply into the ammeter, out of the ammeter to the first resistor, out of the first resistor to the start of the second resistor, and then from the second resistor back to the supply. So it's a complete circuit, but I've now increased the resistance. So what should happen to the current? I haven't changed the pressure, the voltage, but the current has gone down. Increasing the amount of resistance in a circuit reduces the current flow. What I also want to do at this stage is bring in a voltmeter. And we can measure the potential difference. What's the difference in voltage across each of these? So if I try the first one, go from there to there. 5.5 volts almost across the 22 ohm resistor and about 4.5 volts across the 18 ohm resistor. And if I go back to the supply, oops, we've got 10 volts. So if you just have a quick recap on that, I'll draw this for you in a moment. We've got a 10 volt supply, five and a half volts across there and four and a half volts across there. The applied voltage is shared between these two components and this volt drop plus that volt drop add up to the applied voltage. Let me draw that for you. Okay, so there's our supply terminals. One positive, one negative. The first thing we did, we went to an ammeter. Out of the ammeter went to the first resistor, which was 22 ohms. Out of that went to the next resistor. And from there went back to the negative of the supply. And that was 18 ohms. What I then did was to take a voltmeter. I uh, haven't drawn this very well, unfortunately, but if I connect a voltmeter, capital V in there, if I connect it across there, I'll measure the voltage across the 22 ohm resistor. And I'll repeat that for you in a second. And if I took a voltmeter and connected it across there, I'll measure the voltage across the 18 ohm resistor. So a couple of really important points at this stage. Current goes through. Voltage appears across. So the current flows through the circuit and potential differences occur across different resistors. So the voltage is across. So if I just turn the supply back on, just revisit the voltmeter on the 22 ohm, we got 5.45, so it's about 5.5 volts. 
And then on the 18 ohm, which is that one, we've got 4.5 volts. And if you remember from the start, we had a 10 volt supply. So 10 volts is applied to our circuit. Nothing can be lost or gained. Five and a half volts there, four and a half volts there, that and that add up to 10.